Hello and welcome to Code Football. Teams that operate with three central defenders are said to play with a back three. This three player line of defense is traditionally flanked on either side by wing backs. These are responsible for pushing forward in attack, but then recovering back to create a back line of five when their team is out of possession. Some teams will convert a four player defense into a back three in possession, and then revert to a back four when defending. The most common way of converting from a 4 to a 3 is through a central midfielder dropping into the back line, either between or alongside the two central defenders. Both full backs then push forward into the positions that wing backs would normally take up. Alternatively, a back 4 can be converted into a back 3 with just one full back moving forwards. The remaining three players then shift across to take up central positions as a back 3. Until the 1920s, Two full backs made up the defense in the popular 2 3 5 formation used by most teams. In 1925, however, a tweak to the offside rule changed things. No longer were three players needed between an attacker and goal for an attacker to be onside, only two were. It is this change that is thought to have influenced Herbert Chapman in establishing the WM formation, in which an extra full back was added to form a line of three behind two half backs. A back three is often the shape from which teams build from the back, generally with all three players holding their positions in the central lane and the inside channels. The back three acts as support and protection inside the two wing backs and underneath the midfield line. The middle of the center backs will often drop deeper or move higher to allow passes between the two wider center backs, enabling quick switches of play. It is also common for the wider center backs to attempt direct long passes towards the opposite wide area, while the three defenders will also need to play vertical passes into midfield or attack. The center backs may also dribble into midfield to break the opponent's press, especially if the opposition are facing them up with a two-man front line. This often means that the back three has a one-player overload in that line. When facing a deeper block, the wider center backs can also provide crosses from narrow positions or make overlapping or underlapping forward runs. They can work with the wing back and wide attacker to create overloads in wide areas and try to progress around the opposition block. Three center backs provide strong cover and numbers at the back after any loss of possession, meaning the subsequent transition into defense should be easier. If a defensive midfielder has dropped in to create a back three during the build up, however, this can weaken the back line during defensive transition. The three central defenders predominantly deal with play inside the width of the penalty area, and are key when facing crosses. The extra center back adds extra presence in the middle to deal with deliveries from out wide. The two wider center backs can move out to defend the wider areas, especially when faced with through balls beyond the wing back on their side. Each of the defenders in a back three will also be required to step forward individually and press the ball in central areas, particularly when an opposition attacker drops or if an opponent breaks through midfield with a dribble. As one steps out, the other two must become more compact, keeping gaps in the back line to a minimum. Lots of coaches use a three-man defense in the modern game. Antonio Conti, with Juventus, Italy, Chelsea, and Inter Milan. Conti has used back three systems throughout his managerial career. With Juventus, his 3-5-2 used supporting runs from the two number eights beyond the attackers, through the inside channels and central areas. His Italy team played a more direct brand of football, with the wingbacks moving higher in attack and the central midfielders moving wide to support them. With Chelsea, Conti used two narrow number tens in support of a lone centre forward. The wider center backs regularly advanced into positions alongside the double pivot, from a 3-4-3. With Inter Milan, he mainly utilized a 3-5-2. Three center backs give extra cover and protection when defending, especially in central areas. The presence of an extra central defender also makes it easier to force play away from the center of the pitch. The extra center back also helps deal with opposition crosses more effectively. The extra center back can also improve wider defending in a deeper block, providing cover inside and behind the wing back. Two central defenders are then still able to protect the central spaces if one center back moves out. 
Similarly, should one of the back three jumps to engage an opponent, the remaining two defenders can provide more cover and support than a single center back could from a central defensive pair. A back three can also provide an extra central passing option in the first line during the build-up phase and wide options for a switch of play. Both of these are useful when trying to beat a high press. With two other center backs present, one can also step into midfield to create an overload or move wide in the opposition half to support the wing back. Having a third center back removes a player out of midfield or attack. This could lead to attacking in underloaded situations more frequently. The three defenders will naturally cover less space across the pitch compared to a back four. The spaces around the outside of a back three can thus be vulnerable, especially during counter-attacking moments. This means other players are needed in the wide areas when defending, so the wingbacks have to cover a lot of ground quickly to recover into defense. This in turn means that, after regaining possession, counter-attacks can lack width because the wingbacks will be behind play. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can share it and support the channel. See more interesting videos of Code Football.